In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the backlighting for both the keys and the displays on the G1000. In most cases, you'll have a dimmer switch located on the instrument panel, which you can rotate to adjust the intensity of the lighting. But in the rare occasion that you won't have it, you can actually adjust that directly on the Garmin G1000 itself. And you can do that by hitting the menu button. And here we can see the PFD setup menu. And right now we're on the PFD display, which is automatic. So we'll use the inside FMS cursor to change that to manual and hit enter. And it then asks us to specify what percentage backlighting we would like. And right now it's at 100% maximum setting. And notice how it's kind of dark here on the compass rows. If I use the inner FMS knob to reduce it down to its minimum value of 0.14%, we can see that it jumped and got lighter. Now we can hit enter and it stops. If we use the inner, or excuse me, the outside FMS cursor to go back to the PFD display, we can use the inside FMS cursor to change that to the keys, the backlighting on the keys that you press. If we use the outside FMS cursor, right now it's on manual. You can use the inside FMS cursor to make that automatic if you wanted to. But since it's in manual, we can adjust that here using the inner FMS cursor. However, you can't see the changes on the simulator, but you would see it on the actual physical device. Now keep in mind that adjusting the backlighting for both the PFD and the MFD are done on the PFD display. If you hit menu on the multifunction display, the one with the moving map, you won't be able to adjust these values. If we wanted to cycle over to the MFD, we could just hit the FMS knob and this should jump down to there, according to the documentation. However, I don't know if this might be a bug in their simulation software. It's There's no way to jump down from PFD to MFD. Um, but in theory, for the actual one, you should be able to continue hitting the FMS and it moves across and then it should jump down here and allow you to adjust these just as you did for the other ones. So that's all there is to it. It's that simple. And I'm using the Garmin Integrated Flight Deck Trainer, which you can purchase from the Garmin website for about 30 bucks. And I highly recommend it and I'll have a link to it uh, at the bottom.